My name is Margaret Ann Windsor. Um, I was born in 1939. I was kidnapped in 41 from Buckingham Palace. And I'm saying this by way of um, this is information needed in what I'm about to say in the video, uh, kind of the background. Uh, I wanted to focus first on 1977-78. I wrote a medical malpractice book. Uh, entitled MD a License to Kill, and I was living at Moonraker Apartments in Marietta, Georgia. Now, uh, the book was about cases of medical malpractice, and one of them was Larry McDonald, the U.S. Congressman, and he was a physician uh, at Piedmont Hospital, a urologist. Now, I wrote about him, and I wrote about other doctors and mind control and about a cardiovascular doctor uh, implanting a, in a heart bypass uh, a chip which can allow a person to control another's uh, decision making, uh, program the person to go out and kill or uh, appear to have died of natural cause or to, uh, to make it appear that the person committed suicide. Anything you want to do with it, uh, it's what the agencies that are huge now are doing with it, and um, some detective agencies and corporations are using it. So it's become widespread, yet if it's mentioned while you're crazy, yet you can go to YouTube now, you couldn't, or Google. You couldn't back when I was writing about it, uh, and people call your names and were trying to stop it and everything. Uh, Larry Flint. Uh, was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, May, uh, March the 6th of 78 when I was doing the book. And later, the doctor congressman I mentioned, Larry McDonald, who's not the good guy, his plane was shot down and the plane he was on, the KAL 007, uh, August the 31st of 83, was shot down by the Soviet Union uh, because it veered into their airspace. It was en route from um, Juneau, Alaska, to Seoul, South Korea. And um, Richard Nixon was taken off of the plane in Juneau. Uh, now then, I had become a candidate to replace Larry McDonald. Now remember, I had written about him, and I'm leaving out the hell that I went through. Uh, I was given antifreeze January, uh, excuse me, April through the day of 80. And should have gone into a coma and died. Instead, it was a fiasco. Um, I had gone to the emergency room for tox screen to try to find out what had been injected because I had been at the home of Lois Pearson, who I thought was kind of a friend. Now, her sister worked for some of the doctors I wrote about, so I shouldn't have trusted her. The antif it was antifreeze. I found out later. The talk screen was never done, but I'm I'm giving you that information. I want to jump to. I was illegally taken across the state line while, and finally, nine days after April, well, it was on uh, April the ninth of eighty. I was given the talk screen I'd originally asked for to try to combat it, find out what it was, and neutralize it. It was never done. In fact, they tried to kill me. I was jumped from one to the other to the other. Uh, when I, it showed antifreeze, and let me say this, the tox uh, screen was done in Huntsville, Alabama, not Atlanta. And yet when the tox screen was, came back, it came back from um, the state lab in uh, Georgia, which it was done in Alabama, it should have gone to the lab in Alabama. So all of this has been done, and uh, nobody's paid for their crimes. I went to work for Fred Simpson, the district attorney, um, Madison County district attorney there, May of 80, and the name Simpson uh, has to do, is used in the patterns uh, to murder and all this, uh, it's like clues to my identity. Uh, 
as in Wallace Warfield Simpson that was supposed to marry King Edward VIII, which was a lie. She married a double, an imposter. My father was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe from Madison, Wisconsin, sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. Um, his own brother sold him out. Uh, George VI was um, merely a proxy or interim government. And he used that time to steal it. And, and then I was born in 39 and kidnapped in 41. And Joe Kennedy was ambassador appointed by Roosevelt. And the reason I'm giving this information. And he helped on my kidnapping. And his son was John Kennedy. And John and Joe Kennedy flew in and out and stayed there a lot, supposedly helping their father. They're not friends of Great Britain. Um, at the embassy there, at St. James Court, I believe it's called the embassy. And I know that Joe Kennedy helped, on my ki helped in my kidnapping, and my uncle, who became the illegal, George VI. And so Elizabeth and that whole lineage is illegal. I'm Victoria II and legal heir. Um, I only recently, I knew the New World Order, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, which are Jewish, but it's members of the uh, Illuminati. Uh, Elizabeth is a member, and Charles, a secret uh, Freemason. You can give it any name you want. It still comes out the same people. And the Rothschilds married into Elizabeth's mother, Elizabeth. Um, they were members of her family. Uh, so I don't want to lose you there. I really... When I read up on um, John Kennedy, I, I mean, I know the shooting there in 63. I know there was mind control used in it, just like the Martin Luther King, and I'm not going to get into all that. But John Kennedy and Robert were just going to finish what their father had helped do. A hostage is a hostage. The problem is... Uh, I remain a hostage. I'm 75 years old almost, and my life is a living hell, and no one seems to care. They uh, focus on John Kennedy. I don't know. What do you think? You um, approve of kidnapping a monarch uh, and torturing me while you tell about the rest of the world being terrorists? Anyway, I've got to try to not lose you on this because people normally don't listen to long tapes, I understand. I'm going to show you some pictures in in this, too. But I was living at Warren House. Let me get back to that. I was living at Warren House apartment. This is after doing the book and after um, being illegally taken back to Huntsville, Alabama, and working for the DA, Fred Simpson. And Warren House would have to do with the Warren Commission that covered up the Kennedy killing because you'd have to come back and tell about me, my kidnapping, and who I am, the legal heir. Um, and people would start making their own connections to it then. But I won't say this before I get off of this. I, in reading about the Kennedy brothers, I was kidnapped in 41, the summer of 41. I'm pretty sure it was the... 41, I know it was, but I had shorts. I remember the uh, two men brought me, and I don't know if they flew into Cortland Air Base there near Molson or not. It was an Army base just built. And I really can't remember anything other than they were suited and they were more lean. Oh, they were lean uh, in stature, and I won't get into what they did to me. Um other than dropping me off in a pigsty with the Dempsey's. She killed her twin. And uh, I wonder if the Kennedy, looking back, knowing the connection and all, and the access they had to me, my uncle gave them access to me. And they kidnapped me from Buckingham Palace. And I really wonder if jo uh, John Kennedy and Joe had anything, I know they had things to do with me, that were done to me, but did they actually fly me out of uh, the UK? And whether they flew me to Cortland, Alabama or not, did they drop me off and let somebody else finish their job? So uh, 